hey guys welcome back to my another video in this video i'm gonna talk about the exhaust map on rxjs uh, using the angular and i'm running the angular on a put 4200 here and i'm gonna also use the uh, api on this uh, uh, video just to show you that guys the example how the exhaust map really work uh, and I have created the uh, API here on localhost 3000 and this is running in, in our express server and if I go in uh, the customers here it's going to show me the uh, list of the customer and now I do have only one customer and if I go for a rest clients here actually this is my backend here this is my backend which, but I'm not going to talk about the backend on this I'm just going to go directly on the angular on the front end but I'm just going to show you how this uh, the API really works so currently I have the uh, this API where I can get a list of the oh, I can make this a little bigger here so this is a list of the customer where I can get a list uh, of the customer which is an array so I'm going to add a new customer here and I use a rest clients here so if I do a send request here so now it's going to add me a new uh, customer with the name something called Jello and, and it's called a web. So if I refresh now, I can see another two uh, data here as an object, which is good. So now I'm going to use this API and to use a post API to prove that uh, how the exhaust map really works and what's the, what's the benefit of using the exhaust map. So let's begin. So now I'm going to go back to the uh, front end here, front end code. I'm going to make this a little bigger uh okay so this is my front end code and this is the uh, project which is uh, running on localhost 4200 and this is the of course the uh, boilerplate that comes with the angular app right here is nothing much uh yeah everything is going on angular app is they have only one folder component which doesn't have anything but i'm not going to use anything on folder here so I'm going to go in this app component and write it here a test. So now it will reload it and show me the test here. Okay, which is good. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use that API first. So to use that API, I need the HTTP client modules. So now let me import the HTTP client modules on my app dot models here right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that HTTP client CLI and decline modules okay and I need to import this from HTTP client from angular so now let me import that from angular slash HTTP angular so sorry common is coming from on common slash HTTP okay folder so now I can use the HTTP client uh, provider so now let me go to the here uh, an app component which I will implement uh, implement the uh, in interface which is a lifecycle interface on in it so I can able to get advantage of using the here on in it right maybe I don't even need on in it for this example uh, but anyway okay now let me do all do a constructor here so now in the constructor let me add the, the http client which i want http client uh, client uh, http client okay so as your client is coming from the angular common you know what i'm going to use this anyway uh, on in it so what i'm going to do now the first thing is i'm going to use the here i'm going to use a get so of course this need to be, it's better to create it like a service folder in a real app right but i'm just going to go directly work on this component so i don't have to generate the service stuff like that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go in this api and yep i'm going to grab this data and i'm going to show you to show you guys uh what happened if i fetch fetch it right if i go in observables here right observables and yep and observables to subscribe i could able to fetch that data here easily okay the so now let me see and what happened if console one is ng on in it so here is a two data which is coming from the server which is good which is what we need which is perfectly fine okay so now let me post some data i need to post some data as well so let me post some data to post a data i need to create an event on a button so now let me create an event on button so the first thing is i don't have a button so now let me create a button here all right button and let me get this is a add new 
customer okay i'm not gonna create uh, all the form stuff i'm just gonna put directly hard coded on the component just to make a life easier and i'm gonna i'm not gonna use a click event what i'm gonna use here is a template reference variable because what i really want is to i want to to generate the observable so with the button event okay i mean there are multiple ways you can do also uh, using the button event in all previous uh, videos also i also used the subject uh, to change the the button event to observables or or you could also use the template reference variables okay so there could be a multiple ways to so now let me use this uh, uh, add customer right customer uh, template reference variable btn a uh, button okay so once I create this template template reference uh, variable so now let me add this in my component here using the view child com view child annotated uh, view child add the red view child so on a view child, I'll just put the name of it and I'll just give a reference here and this type will be basically it's element ref, okay? So now we have a view child here. So I will uh, create an event using this one. So basically whenever we try to get some any template reference variable from our view, then we can generate our, we can uh, use it and ng on in it because ng on it will generate it before the view is initialized. So when the view is initialized, then we should generate, we should use the, uh, the, the element from the view. So what we need to use is uh, on after, uh, sorry, after, after viewing it so here it is after viewing it and it will tell me to put the one functions called ng after viewing it and this function will trigger so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create an event using that button using the something called from event and from event is also pro coming from the rxjs so here what i'm going to do i'm going to put this here uh the not this one guy uh yep this guy using an add and it will give me something called native element and this is a native element, HTML native element. Okay. So once I give that, so on the, on the HTML native element, what type of event you want to add it? I want to add a click event. So that's why I use a click here. So once I use a click here, so now I will get an observable here. So the observable of this is going to be add add customer BTN btn observables okay so this is going to be my observables so whenever i uh, click that button uh, this will subscribe this will give me the value so i will show you the value here okay console log d so now basically in d basically we will just get the events um, i think we will get the mouse click here's a big button if i click it here then it's give me a pointer events now so when i click it it's giving me a pointer events which is fine because the we don't want to worry we don't need all the events here what event we need we just need the the click event need to be triggered so here basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this uh, functions here okay i'm going to call this so this is going to be basically get uh, i don't want sorry i'm sorry you guys i don't want to use this i want to post some new data okay i'm just i'm just gonna post some new data so how we can post it so let me create another event so in a, basically this will be a save so this will create a new object on our api here we, i have only a two data now so when i click the add it's going to add one more and it's going to be a three uh, that's why I show you guys the before the API because I really want to play around with uh, this uh, example exhaust map using the APIs. Okay, so now uh, what I'm gonna do is on this API on the customer, which is good, and basically instead of the get, I want to post, and of course this the post data is should be come from the form itself, but we don't have any form in Angular, uh, then so we're gonna directly insert it here. Okay, something anything. Could be anything doesn't matter okay so now we, we we will post this i'm going to show you the code for here basically it's going to here and this is the object that is sending to the server okay and it's it's a post it's doing the post request and it's it's just printing after what's the result is going to be okay so this is the save event so this save event should work any whatever uh, I, I i don't need this i'll just comment whenever the uh, the button is click okay whenever the button is click is going to add this new uh, object on the server okay it's doing a post request basically 
so now i have only a three data here right uh, two data sorry so i'm going to click this button i'm going to show you the network tab as well what happened here so if i click it here okay now it's giving me an error it's just the address uh the why i did i send the address yeah i did oh i this spell mistake here typo i put double three okay save it here so now let me do again so if i save it so now it's going to call the apis okay so okay it's pretty slow okay now it called the apis and when i want to reload it here so why pretty slow the, the reason is I, I delay this i delay this is my uh api i went back to the api back in code okay so i'm just gonna make this as a delay here just to show you this exhaust map example before so i'll just play around with this before here i just make this delay l l i don't want to make the delay for now so what really happened is whenever we click the button now right then it's going to pause a new record okay okay what happened now what's the issue okay now let me refresh it looks like the server is restarting when i save it let me check yep it does post it when i click it yep so whenever i click the button it will give me a new new data it will post a new data now i have a bunch of this data same data right whenever i click it it's going to post a new data whenever i click like several times here like many times as i want then it's going to pose a lot of data here you guys see a lot of data so that what it happened but what we really need is let's assume we have some issue on the server server is pretty slow or some the internet issue on a client you know could be anything if it's really slow then what happened if i click a multiple times it's trying to post a multiple times so now let me make this server a little smaller a little uh, slower so i'll just make as a five second delay when i'm trying to post something it does a five second delay okay so now i have a bunch of here i know it's very difficult to see it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna clean this uh the collection uh let me check uh, i'm gonna clean this collection okay i have the uh here get customer name okay i am in a get customers okay uh, basically this is uh, some mongodb uh, okay i clean it so now i don't have any data so what happened now if i click it then it will take a little delay but when i whenever i click it like multiple times it's, it's still trying to post it even it delay right even it's delay is trying to post it now it's posting all the data right so now if i click it i have like five one two three four five right i because i click five times so that's why it's it's posting even though even though it doesn't process at all it's pretty slow even though the, it doesn't process uh, the first uh, uh, call has been executed and it's way it's also called the second call because i click the button even the first call is not even succeed so that's what it happened now so what the exhaust map really does is basically it will tell them to do not do any other work until i am done so when the first observable has been sent then that need to be complete before it goes to the another one right before it goes to the another one so that how the exhaust map will work so how we put that exhaust map here so basically this is the button event here so what we can do we can do a pipe here and we can literally put the exhaust map okay so exhaust map is one of the operator from it comes from the rxjs so i'll put the exhaust map here and it's coming from rxjs slash operator okay so once we have exhaust map it's going to give me an error here because it does take a functions here so on this inside the functions we need to call this save okay so i'm going to call inside the function i'm going to call saved and save will give me an error because it's expecting as an observable so i'll just return this as an observable here so now this will save will return me observable which i do have here so whenever this will return observables and button is subscribe and in a d uh, i will get a response here so now let's see what happened so now let me see the how many data oh, i have a five field here so i'm going to clean this up 
so now I don't have anything here okay good so whenever I click the button like multiple times then it will only post it will just wait for this first to finished okay now, now the first is finished so if I reload it will just post first so it will just need to wait until it's been done so whenever I do again whenever I click like multiple times here it doesn't do a work because the it just wait the first to complete and once the first is complete then after of course you can click it again but of course again it will wait up to five seconds because I made a delay there up to five seconds okay so now the three data will be forced so that's the exhaust map will work guys I will put this code inside the uh, git uh, on the inside uh, below this video and I hope you guys learn something new so this is just uh, I'm putting the uh, series for the uh, ArcGIS and I hope you guys learn something new on this and thank you very much for watching guys Bye for now.